Hi, my name is Jason. Today we're going to be showing you the brand new Easy Step forming system from DecoCrete. Um, the Easy Step, I came up with this idea uh, when I was pouring steps back when I was a contractor. You know, I always uh, thought, you know, there's got to be a better way to form these half round steps, uh, the ones that wrap around each other like that. And I thought after years of thinking about it, finally decided to do something about it. And um, this is kind of what we came up with. So today we're going to be showing you how that whole system uh, goes together and how it works. So what all comes in this set? First thing it comes with is, a, is the first step ring. Uh, that would make the first top step, the, uh, the second step ring, and then the third step ring. You know, those, those things are very, very critical. They're, they're, two, they're two pieces each. So it comes with two pin lock brackets, and the pin lock brackets are just in case you need extra support uh, somewhere within the system. Uh, it comes with three vice grips to help to hold the uh, steps together. It also comes with a bracket alignment template which is what we need to help lay out the brackets uh, where the steps are gonna hang off of. It comes with three left brackets and three right brackets, a support pipe, height adjustment lock. That part is what goes at the end and that's how you set the steps to, to level at the very end. It has a three-step support pipe and a two-step support pipe. Those are just, uh, if you're using three steps, you use the, uh, obviously the three-step. Um, if you're just using two steps out of the system, you would just use a two-step. And the last piece is the easy step support arm, uh, which that's what everything hangs off of, off of the steps. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when we do these uh, steps is, uh, I may, I put this piece of cardboard up here for now. We're, def we're definitely gonna get better video of this once we actually have uh, you know an on-site uh, thing, but we just wanted to get this out for you guys, that way you guys can see this in case you, uh, uh, you know, in case you have questions about it and stuff. So let's pretend this is our, our door. Uh, this is a normal door off somebody's back patio or whatever, three feet wide, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is measure the, and find the center of the door. We wanna find the center of that first. So I've already have that marked here, so I'm just gonna measure over the three foot door. So I'm gonna have a mark at 18 inches. Next thing I need to figure out is where the top of my concrete's gonna go. For this particular application, we're just going to be taking this, a normal step down. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'll, off the bottom of the door, I'm going to mark down seven and a half inches. Okay, so that's that's the top of my concrete. All right, so I'm going to take a level. Okay. So now I got my top of my concrete and now I need to just level down off of that, that mark I made. So top of the concrete, center of the door. Those are the only two marks that, that we need to, to set up this system. It's the only two things we gotta measure or level. Okay, the next, the next step is we get our uh, bracket alignment. We wanna make sure it's below the line, okay? It's below. We did this so you could actually see the line. I'm gonna line this edge. I'm gonna line this edge up with the center and the top of it with that line. And then once that's right, then he's just gonna mark that out. And yep. All right, and then all I gotta do is take this. If you're doing three steps, you take this and you just line that up on here. Then to do the other side, all we gotta do is flip it around like this. Same thing, I'm gonna find the center. The next thing we're gonna get is our uh, brackets. So they are marked uh, left and right, and that's if you're looking at them. So if you're looking at them, this is the left side, it goes on this side, all right? One really important thing of this is we gotta make sure this is set up so it's like this, it's on this side. If you do it like this, it's not gonna work. So it's gotta be, it's this back side that's right of this. We're using uh, regular tap cons to go into, uh, you know, the masonry product. If you were you, if you, if your steps happen to be going to wood, you know, uh, a drywall screw or a hex head uh, lag screw will work fine. E either one will will hold this, as long as you're into something solid. You can't just uh, put like a, you know, something like this into a little piece of plywood or something like that and expect it to hold. It's got to be. Uh, bite into something real good. If you if you need more support, use one of those other brackets. So after the raw brackets are on, uh, the next step is getting the uh, the rings. Always make sure that 
that this part here, the part that's sticking up, make sure that's up and make sure that's toward the center, okay? That's uh, gonna be how this works. So then, then these holes on this are where one set of holes, the first set of holes is for the bracket, the second set of holes is for the, um, the arm, the support arm that goes on. So you, you're gonna put it in there. So all I'm gonna do is just take this, put it in there and push down, that's it. This pin swings, and that helps lock it down so that like, no con so if it tries if the concrete tries to push it up or anything like that, that holds it into place. Then we just do the same thing on the other side, and then we just use a vice normal vice grip. These also come with it. Okay, we've got our uh, three steps on there. The next thing we do is put the support arm in. That just clips in these top holes right there. That stays like that. We can go ahead and lock that first one in. These, these brackets come all with a, uh, with a locking pin, clevis pin with a wire. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my uh, three-step support arm. I'm gonna put it into here, make sure that these are kind of lined up, tighten the bracket up here. Then I'm gonna clip these, same way we did the top one. So the next thing we're gonna do is take this support uh, adjustment lock bracket, and we're gonna stick that into here. Try to get it as straight as possible. Then you just drop a normal steel pin in here. Like that. Then we're gonna put a level up on top, top of there. Now just slope that like you normally would on the top step. When you level this up, you, you almost need two people because one person's gotta kinda hold up on this to pull these the steps up to height, and the other one's gotta look at the uh, level. So. The next thing I like to do just for, uh, just to make sure this doesn't, because the whole system is being held up by that one pin in here. And if this moves or something or gets knocked, so I like to always put that right underneath there just for, just for extras, just for a safety precaution. The next thing we're gonna do like these here, uh, you don't have to use these, but this is, when you, this is when you could use it. If you didn't like something or you weren't getting a good bite into the house or you wouldn't, if you wanna put a little bit of support here, uh, or anywhere in the thing, you just throw this in here. This gets pushed in there. Unless you're trying to hold it to the house, like against the house or something like that, so it's not pulling out, you don't even really need to use these holes that are in it. Okay, but these holes will go line up with these holes. But you don't have to use those if you're out here. So just by wedging that in there and putting another pin in, If I would have drove this in the ground, it wouldn't have moved like that, obviously, but, but, that, but that holds it to height then. If you're using this bracket alignment template, and you don't have to use this thing if you don't want to. If you want to set these up the way you, you always do it or however, whatever, but this, but this particular bracket, this is a very important part of this video, is this bracket is set up to do a certain technique, which we found is the easiest way to pour these. So the actual riser height uh, of these liners is seven and a quarter. This is set up for seven and three quarters. And the reason we do that is so that we can take a mag like this and we can get underneath this liner here. That does two things. That creates that tiny bit of void under there. So that's about a, uh, that'll make between, you know, three eighths and a half inch void underneath there. And what that does is number one, it makes it nice for when you strip them because there's not a void under there. Number two, you don't have to worry about uh, if you're trying to get color hardener under there or something like that. I've made a, a mag. I made this one for myself for the system. You guys can do this. It's, it, it's easy if you want to do this. If not, I'm going to show you another way to do it too. But uh, we've had, I, JB welded, just, just regular JB welded. You can buy it at any hardware. Uh, grind the top of the mag down. Just put a little piece of metal on there at the right height. But what this height is, it's underneath the, 
it puts this right underneath the step at the right spot so that when you're doing this and you're floating underneath here that it stops it and that puts it right there where that transition is if you don't want to use that a lot of times what we'll do is we'll take a mag like this stick it underneath here and then uh, look where it's at underneath there so right where it's at and then take and paint this or make a line on this so you know you know kind of where it's at so when you're pouring your concrete you can be uh, making sure that you're at the right spot the other thing that we want to make sure is that that you're putting up pressure you put up pressure on the front side of your mag and and down pressure on the back side this is set up so that uh and that's why we we did it like this is for a normal 16 inch wide mag so this is a 15 and a quarter riser that way you allow it allows you to get underneath there so you're pushing up here and you're making sure that it's hitting the, the the step below it okay that's what you're doing and if you do that that gives it a quarter inch of fall out this system is built that's the way it has to be done if you're using that bracket if you don't do it like that it's not going to come it's not going to come out right so i know a lot of people are going to be renting these also so i will say this if somebody messes with these brackets it's always good to double check these because I want to make sure I know that this is right over here because I have that template here. I don't know that that's right for sure. If I take this, loose it up and push it up, it'll take the step up. If I take it down, the step will drop down. So next thing I'm going to do to check this is like, I, I like to put a mark on my level down three quarters of an inch. So I don't need to, like I said before, I don't need to check it back here because that alignment bracket template that we have that already did all that for me. So I know that's right. So all I'm going to check is this. So I want to make sure I want to go from here and I want to be at that mark here. And that should be, that should be level when it's, when it's like this. Okay. So it's not. So what I'm going to do is adjust it. So it is. So I'm going to do is take this move down a little bit, adjust it down just a little bit, then tighten this back down. Looks pretty good. Then we're going to do the same thing down here. Now, although these uh, forms are nice and solid, they do, there's a lot of, I still, I still would not like maybe put the chute in here and try to fill it all up. It's real important that you fill them up evenly, uh, both sides, and then bring the concrete out to the edge slowly. So it's not putting all the weight pushing on one side. That way it's kind of the, the, the weight in the, of the concrete is pushing evenly on all of them at the same time. We've shaped these liners and we've, we've uh, manufactured them so they go over top of this piece of steel. That does uh, one great thing for us. Uh, it allows us to not have to use any screws. So that's, that's, that's huge. You don't have to screw your liners in here or, or attach them in any way. It just ha has a lip that, that slides on over top of that. So with that being said, we, we did have to make these so they're like a standard size. And what happens is the, this, this, this rubber, it will expand and contract a little bit depending on the temperature and stuff. So we do, if it's like 80 degrees, this thing will fit, fit tight. If it's a little bit colder, there might be a little bit of a gap. So if you just pull it together in the center, um, just make sure the centers are butted up and then there might be a little gap over here on the edge that you can detail, fix up, knock off with a chisel later. Uh, if it goes past that or whatever, you know, that's that's not that big of a deal to fix it. So, well, that's all uh, for this week. If if you have any questions more about this, please uh, notify us. You know, on social media or call one of the uh, stores. Or uh, you know, we, we'd love to help you any way we can with this. You know, if you're having uh, problems or just need a little bit more coaching on it. Um, other than that, man, good good luck with these. Hope this makes it easy for you guys. And we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.